there welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm mariah and this is my husband garrett What's and up? today we are going to be making some christmas goodies to give away to our loved ones and the people that have been really good to us this year so with that being said you ready to get started i am come along with us as we bake fudge we're gonna do chocolate covered pretzels and a sugar cookie recipe so stay tuned we're going to be melting some almond bark. I have chocolate and I have white chocolate and I think Garrett's going to tackle covering these pretzels in chocolate. Sound Thank good? You. All right. double the sugar cookie recipe that I'm making here. It is two and a half cups all-purpose flour, two teaspoons baking powder, three-fourths teaspoon of fine sea salt, two sticks of unsalted butter. I did use salted but that's all that I had and I thought it turned out great. One and one-fourth cups of granulated sugar, a large egg and a large egg yolk, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And I did go a little heavier on the vanilla because you can't go wrong. I did not follow directions exactly like I was supposed to. Don't recommend that. I will tell you that later. Go by the directions. I will leave a link of the recipe down below. I don't have a stand mixer and my mixer even on the low setting is really fast. So don't cringe at me if you see flour going everywhere when we go to incorporate the dry into the wet ingredients. Um, that was a mess. So I eventually just went in with my hands and mixed it. It was fine. I mean, what better tool to use than the ones that the good Lord gave us, right? Okay, I did not follow directions exactly how they were supposed to be. Half of the reason is because I don't own a lot of kitchen gadgets that most people do. So, I mean, I just don't have much space and what better tool to use than your hands, but they're clean. But anyway, um, it still worked out. I was actually supposed to keep some of that sugar out to roll it in. But, I mean, does it really matter if it's in it or on top of it? I think it's sugary enough. I mean, it is a sugar cookie, so we're going to just roll with it. Um, I will leave the recipe down for this, and you can follow it exactly. I recommend that. Um, but, you know, how we do things around here. We wing it. So, I winged it. 
We have our sugar cookie dough now. I have a baking sheet and I have some parchment paper on top. I'm rolling out the dough and kind of flattening it, kind of making it try to look symmetrical and pretty. Not everything's perfect though. It's still good. It's about what it tastes like, right? So we just had a package come and it was one of the Christmas presents that we've ordered and Garrett is on wrapping duty. Surprisingly, I'm not good at wrapping and he's better. Well, I'm sucking right now. Well, but you're well, way better than what I could do. I'll have to trim this. I think they turned out good. They're pretty and we're going to see what Garrett thinks later about how the taste is. The sugar cookies are out of the oven and they're pretty and they taste so good. I already had one, but let's see what Garrett thinks about it. What do you think? Mmm, whole thing. Mm. I guess it's safe to say it's good. Mm. So I recommend mm. that sugar cookie recipe. I'll have it in the link below. Good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Garrett approves. Mm -hmm. In the corner of your screen, you'll see Garrett putting together the peanut butter and Ritz sandwiches, and then you'll see me dunking it in chocolate and then putting it on the parchment paper. This is one of the favorites. Everybody comes back and tells us that this is one of their favorite things that they find in their goodie box. So if you're making this or going to, I you should definitely not skip this. We also bought some pretzel rods to dip in the white chocolate and I'm just taking some sanding sugar and sprinkles and sprinkling it over the top. These are really good too. I apologize in advance because I did not get much footage of the fantasy fudge, but I will leave a recipe down in the comments below. It's really easy and it's super good. It's like Christmas crack. You're going to want to make it and I know you can make it. This is what it looks like just coming out of the pot off the stove and it's going to cool and be amazing. And this is what it looks like when it cools. And now I am putting all of the goodies that we worked hard to make into goodie boxes, goodie bags, things like that. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate everyone that takes time out of their day to come and hang out with me and my husband and my family. I really appreciate it. And I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas. Till next time.